from Friendly Pantry and I am here today to talk about school supplies, food allergy school supplies. Now I know that nobody really wants to think about this right now because summer just started but there are a couple of reasons why I thought that we should go over it now. The first one is um, if you know what your list is then you can spend the whole summer looking for sales and um, who doesn't like a sale, right? If you know what your list is, you can also make sure that you order it in time because some of the um, things take a little while to get. So you might want to start thinking about it now. Um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the EpiPen trainer. And of course, I keep my EpiPen trainer away from my EpiPens, which means I've lost it. <laughs> And I can't find it right now, so I don't have one to show you, but if you go to the EpiPen website, you are able to um, order a trainer for free. And the great thing about it is that you can use this not only for your friends and families and teachers, but it's um, something to use for your, your da daughter or son, whoever has the allergy, to take a look at and play with. So I would highly recommend that. Um, the next thing on the list are EpiPen carriers. And this one is actually the free one that came from the EpiPen website. I like free, and apparently my daughter does too, because this was one of her favorite ones to wear the other day through this school year. So I think it's kind of, it's nice for her because it's kind of, it's black, it's just neutral, but it also has some little butterflies on it. She really liked that. We also have this one from Cozy Go, and it's insulated, which is pretty cute. And she got to pick this one. And the neat thing about them picking it is if they really like it, a lot of times they might want to wear it more. So that's something to think about. Um, I'd love to know what EpiPen carriers you use. Um, I've heard about spy belts. And I was wondering about spy belts, if anybody knows if they're actually insulated or not. Because I've never used one, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. So um, another one that I've heard about is the... Um, the ones from the dollar store. The, apparently they're in the jogging section and they're like three dollars. And I think you can get other colors too. If you let me know, if you know about that, if you can get several colors from the dollar store, that's great too. Because anything that you can let your child pick, the better. Um, so the other thing, next thing that you'll want to make sure you have is unexpired EpiPens. So um, you might have to call your doctor just to get a refill on the prescription. But if you can get ones that expire after the next school year starts, that would be awesome because then you don't have to think about it. But if you um, if you can't, then you might just want to put something in your calendar so that you can see what when they expire and when you have to check up on them. Uh, secondly, and this one, these are interesting. These are the um, medical alert bracelets. You really want to make sure that you have a medical alert bracelet. There's lots of kinds on the market. This one is a little silicone one that we got from Allermates. And it has, um, you know, all the little allergies. And it's like, um, they're little buttons. Well, I can't pull it out right now, but you, whatever your allergies are, you can put that button on. And it's great for younger kids because they, um, you know, they're, it's, it's really sturdy. And it's easily, take, you can leave it on or take it off and you just put it in the water or whatever. So um, that's a really good one. Uh, last year, we actually got my daughter kind of a nice one from Lauren's Hope. And these ones are really great because, again, my daughter was able to pick it. And because of that, she loved it. And we did get it as a birthday present, so it was kind of a, one of the more special ones. But something to keep in mind with these is when you're thinking about budget is that they outgrow them. And my daughter outgrows one a year probably. So by that time, it's usually pretty rickety. And she needs to get a new one anyway. So, but you can keep, the cool thing about Lauren's Hope, you can keep these little tags and reuse them. So that's cool. The next thing that you want to remember, if it's required on your um, emergency plan, would be antihistamines. Make sure that you have ones that are not expired that you can give to the school. Um, also hand wipes. We get lots of different kinds of hand wipes. Um, put them in their lunch bucket, put them in their um, backpack, let them keep them at school. 
uh, anywhere where you might where they might need them just these little handy ones um, the next one that we have is lunch buckets and lunch bags this is what my daughter used all year last year and you just open it up it's Costco easy cheap you're lucky that you're seeing it now after it went through the dishwasher because before it was not so pretty anyways it looks nice now um, but the nice thing is is that it opens and the food is all contained there and she doesn't have to take anything out which I like um, another really great option that I've seen are these ones and they are they're called flat box and I ordered it from the States but the cool thing is about it is that you can actually unzip it you put the food all in here you unzip the whole thing and it ends up being kind of like a placemat so if their lunch is in there and the placemat is like that when they're all done they just zip it back up now I find that this is a little bit difficult for younger kids but if they have a teacher helping them or they're a little bit older it might be a really great option I've also seen these actually the knockoffs at soup I think it was save on foods so you might want to check there it's not the brand flat box but it is um, just a kind of a knockoff that I've seen there and that's the only other place in Canada that I've seen those because I actually had to order that online um, so the next thing you wouldn't want to forget would be food allergy labels and name labels so where do you guys get your name labels um, I have normally gotten them from um, Mabel's labels and they actually have a line of allergy products so that you can say which allergies your your child has and those work quite well now that my daughter is getting a little bit older she doesn't love having those on her lunchbox anymore so we kind of depend on the medic alert bracelet and she you know tells the people around her and mostly all her friends know about it so um, so that's not as big of a problem but you might want to consider that especially for younger I'd love kids for you to check out the blog it's friendlypantry.com slash blog and it's the school supplies list and it gives you it's just a nice list and actually I can show you maybe you can't see it it's a nice list that just gives you check boxes and it gives you a couple of places for anything else that you like to buy right at the bottom and it's just a really handy thing to use every summer and thank you so much for joining me and um, now you can enjoy your summer now that you've got your list so hope you have a great summer and I'm sure we'll be talking again soon thank you